hello you welcome to another tutorial where i'll show you how to make a phenotype beat now this is a beat breakdown i'll show you how i put this whole beat together from scratch till um the end i you know how it goes we listen to the preview and then we talk about it so this is the beats <laughs> Alright, so that's a preview. Um and um I start with the drums. Let's talk about the drums. I'll solo this here. I start with these drums. So let's break it down. Let's break down the drums. All right, here we have the kick. I use one over six quantization, then percussions. I use this I played it on this note here and I didn't particularly <coughs> snap it onto the grid counted it to it sound a little bit more realistic so it's kind of off grid but at the same time it's it's on beats yeah then I play the shaker Then what what else I did again was um I added this um percussion loops with the snare So this is from Lil John Sound Kits. I use this a lot for my African um for my Afro pop um drum sound. Then um, I used a snare. Sorry about that. I used a snare here. Layered it with this, this, and this. This is um, a kind of like a tambourine. This is a clap. And this is um, a conga. It lands, you know, if you notice, the first one lands with the snare, but the last one kind of go off, kind of like two um, steps ahead of the snare. Yeah, so, what we'll do is, uh, what I did again for the drum, because I need to create some variation between this, I didn't want it to be too straight. So, I... So I kind of did some um, turn up, change the percussion style here to have this um, kind of like a Tilogu drum, a Tilogu percussion 
or this um really local traditional percussion i tried to do as much as possible so there were no loops used there it was all played manually this is off so this so we'll start with this sound Then I played this ones which are layered. Yeah, so that's the sound. I layered it with this one here. The reason why I layered it was because I wanted it to sound thicker. It shouldn't sound too thin. So I had to use um, percussions that had um, similarities, but they were not really sounding the same. So they had to kind of like be in the similar category, like this one and this one. They kind of sound alike. Like they sound similar, so then a shaker in here to just um, fill up the empty space. Yeah, the shaker in here to fill up the empty space, and um, I have a A sample shout here. Then this is a this is just a sound. Um, I think it's from one of my loop kit. It just kind of like give it a drum roll feel, just to kind of like kind of like a drum roll. So so that was how I played this drum roll here. Then um that was, that's pretty much it for the drums. Not much. I didn't do much. I didn't do much for the drums, so um then I played the um the chord progression. progression which is an eight bar loop with slight variations let's listen to it i played it with nexus piano So that is for the chord progression. Then what next I did again was um, to play this. This is also another piano, but from Purity. It sounds kind of like a church um, piano organ kind of sound. So then what I did again was after playing that piano to the reason I played that piano is kind of like to give it you know the beats when you're making the beats kind of like it's kind of like you're driving a point like you should have connection connecting points you should have a flow so when this piano played like let me turn it off so it could go like that but i need to introduce some more melodies but i need for those melodies to come and it's kind of like an a bar, like a bounce to allow my melodies coming so that's why i played this um chords here So that was basically the reason why I played these chords here. Then, of course, it's, um, the typical. Oh, 
flutes from come most Igbo songs most Igbo beats make use of flutes every now and then not all but some so I use purity to play this play this on um on purity this is how it sounds it was um let me see the purity sound i used flute vibe impurity that's what i used to make this beat then um I did some accompanying pianos here. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. I did some accompanying piano here. Just to um give you more texture and um, layer it properly to just make it sound more thick and authentic so thick and authentic so um next thing i added um i think this baseline was the last was one of the last things I added this baseline here. This baseline is a loop, it's a drill loop I got from Looper Man. I know it's crazy to use a drill loop on an Afro beat or something, but it, it was worth trying out. I just experimented it and I liked how it sound. Yeah, so that was it then. Um, in the intro, I had some more instruments coming in. This is a piano. I'm oh, sorry, this is a guitar from Nexus. I have a Nexus um, XP guitar. You can um, just Google it. The expansion pack is quite easy to find. They have lots of amazing guitars for Nexus. So I use guitar, just guitar three. So if you already have this guitar already, this um expansion bank already. So I use that's why I used to play this. So if you notice, not everything's on the grid per se. I wanted it to sound realistic, so some things are purposely off grid. <laughs> yeah. Then what I did next was to play this. This is an organ from Purity. Then I played strings. You can see how it all just sums up. So let's listen to the whole arrangement and see. Then I got this this sound at the beginning. I got it from YouTube. It was um from a video um Igbo Masquerade Oja Flutes or Oja Flutes, please um pardon me if I'm saying that wrong. I know the Igbo, so um so this is the sound. And like it was just amazing when it just blended with um with the beat I was making like I, I didn't hear it first so i made the beats i just finished making it but i felt like it needed this authentic Igbo flutes playing somewhere and i couldn't replicate that with um 
with the flutes I had in um, Nexus or or um, Purity or Orchestra and the rest. So I just felt like trying out YouTube then. Maybe I can pitch it and sample it and rest, but I just dragged it and dropped it in and it was, I didn't even pitch it. I just dragged it in and it was, and it was great. Like, it's always a great feeling when that happens. So big ups to the Ibu Masquerades who played the Oja flutes. They're on YouTube, you can check them out. So I sampled it here. I have some more melodies here and there. This is just the still flute again. This is kind of like a breakdown in the in the chorus where I played. Um, I used a xylophone to play that sound. for the chorus then the other half of the chorus I play this sound so that's why I played um here I used um Purity, solo tenor, under woodwinds. Yes, and um, well, that's pretty much it too. With some gross beat for the drop. There's a drop you hear. Here. I just use gross beat to do an automation to create that drop there. Then my um, SFX that came in. So that was how I made a Fino type beat. Um, it's just a beat breakdown, how I put it all together. So um, I'm working on a FL Studio production course that will be more thorough and in-depth. So this is just kind of like, a, this is just a breakdown. It's not an intense tutorial, but it can help inspire your own ideas on how you can create sounds like this. All right. See you on the next tutorial. Take care. <laughs>